Welcome. It's another episode of your daily scrum with professional scrum trainers, Ryan Ripley and Todd Miller. We get together each and every day to help you do scrum a little bit better. Some people would say we get to be together to help you fix your scrum, which is also the title of our book and the core focus of our scrum.org courses. Check the description below for more information about all those fun things. But for now, Todd, we've got a question. That's we have a in. question. When do we validate the sprint goal has been met? Hmm. What do you think about this, Todd? You know, my first reaction uh, with this question, my, it was my first initial gut reaction, and then I think I'm backing off of it, was I'm not sure how much I like the word validate here. Um, and then I started to think about it. Uh, when we think about a sprint goal, isn't a sprint goal a hypothesis of value? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. It's almost what, what this question reminded me of when we saw it come in was like, when do we accept the increment? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right which could mm -hmm, almost be the mm -hmm. same as validating the sprint goal has been met and i would mm -hmm. say never mm -hmm. i mean dare i say um i i think the word validate worries both of us because it mm -hmm. kind of harkens back to a time when you know product people or the business people would you know ship a bunch of requirements over the fence and say it go build it and we'll come back and accept it when you're done Mm -hmm. that's where my head goes and that's, I, because that's where my head went that's that, so our heads went to the same place because this notion of validation just seems like an, an old school way of thinking yeah if we've got a product owner and business people and and technical people and subject matter experts all working together on a scrum team the idea of acceptance or validation or even uat become irrelevant Mm -hmm. Right. There should never be anything in a sprint review that surprises a product owner or for that matter, a stakeholder. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's what's interesting about this whole debate, too, is that the sprint goal is a commitment. Yep. So this is tricky uh, because we talk about the sprint goal being a commitment, which means it, that's a commitment that we're making to achieve this sprint goal. Um, but. Uh, if a sprint, if you don't achieve your sprint goal, uh, that doesn't mean that empiricism has broken down. That means that we've just gotten another opportunity to learn something, right? Yeah. So I, 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 maybe, maybe I could potentially have a problem with that word commitment. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah. So I, I think that um, where my brain landed with this and I, I don't know what, how you'll feel about this but where my brain landed with this is that it's not exactly about validation of a sprinkle uh what it might be about is whether you've met it or potentially didn't meet your sprinkle this is could be a great driving conversation for your sprint retrospectives yeah right are our sprint goals too broad in scope do our sprint goals have ands or commas like you run on sentences which things that you and i believe they shouldn't have those things Right. Um, so I think it might be uh, uh, an inspection yeah, point it, of a process. Shouldn't it be obvious mm -hmm. if, if you have a well-crafted sprint goal? Shouldn't that whether or not you've achieved that outcome just be so obvious that that UAT or validation steps like this just become unneeded? Yeah. Yeah. I certainly think it's worth inspection and discussing during a sprint review. Yeah. This is the hypothesis of what we thought we could build this sprint. Um, but then I think that there's this whole other thing. Maybe the true validation of a sprint goal is actually happening once it's in production and you're watching your customers and whether they're using it or not. Well, if, if a sprint goal is customer driven, outcome driven, it would make it value driven. And the mm -hmm. only way to validate that you've shipped something valuable is by releasing it mm -hmm. and getting feedback from the people who, who you've released it for. Mm -hmm. And so in a sense, we valued, we validate the value of achieving a sprint goal once we release. Mm -hmm. Right. So maybe I, think that's that's, the, I think that's where we're landing here. Right. I think that's the proper framing of it. The work is, yeah. is the work is the work shipping, validating value, closing that feedback loop might be the way that we validate that a sprint goal has been met or at least the value tied to a sprint goal has been, mm -hmm. has been realized. Yeah. I, and to me, that's the true nature of validation when it comes to, I mean, we're, we're talking really here about hypothesis driven validation, right? Yeah. And so 
because uh, a hypothesis is, you know, is it's something that we're coming up with that is an assumption that is bringing value to a customer, right? And then we're going to test that hypothesis by getting into production and collecting data on it. And the validation of that hypothesis comes through looking and inspecting that data, right? So I, uh, yeah, I think that's, I think we're just landed where we, where we are that the, that your sprint goal is validated when it's in the customer's hands, you've collected data on it and have validated the fact that it was in fact valuable for your customer. There we go. Boy, we really thought out loud both on this, on this one, right? Yeah, we, but I think we landed in a really good spot. Yeah. And so now that we've landed, it's time to bring it in with the end screen. Check out the socials on the left. Like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Leave your comments below. Ask your questions. Your questions turn into videos. Speaking of videos, some should have just popped up. Check those out as well. The algorithm thinks you'll like them. We do too. Uh, for Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forward. Do some great scrum things. We'll see you tomorrow.